Are you looking for a job in Australia, Canada or in the Western countries? I'm sure you would never like to get stuck in a fraud or a scam. So in this video, I'll tell you how to identify a fake job offer. I'll also show you a fake job offer that my friend received a couple of months ago and how we identified that it was really fake. So in this video, I'll tell you everything about fake job offers. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so we know that there are additional points for a job offer in Canada Express Entry System. So we do look for jobs through LinkedIn or any other job portal. Now, though it's very difficult to get a job, we sometimes we can land getting a job, but it might be fishy that the job offer you received is correct, is real, or is it fake? There are many chances that the job offer you received is a fake one. So in this video, I'll tell you how you can identify that it's a fake job offer. Before I tell you that, let me aware you what you should not do. So before you confirm that it is a real job offer, you should not pay any fee or transfer money to them on the name of uh, security amount, medical fee, visa processing fee, air travel fee or any other miscellaneous charges. They can ask you that pay some amount and then we are paying rest all the amount for your accommodation, for your salary, everything. But you should not pay it until unless you confirm that it's a real company, it's a real job offer. Now. These frauds are not only made for monetary benefits, they can also be for, I mean, for any other reasons. They can steal your sensitive information and they can do, they can kind of misuse your information. So you should not share any documents like your passport, license, etc. with them. Also, you should not share any personal sensitive information like bank or credit debit card details or even your national identifier details like a SIN number, Aadhaar card number or any other number. So these are the uh, precautions that you should take. Now let's discuss how you can actually identify fake job offers. So first of all, you should check their website. We are living in 2018 and definitely it's an Im very important to have a uh, web presence in this age. You should check for their website. It might be a case that they have given the reference of a wrong website. So you should do full, further investigations as well. You should check their reviews on Glassdoor, Google, LinkedIn, you know, all over internet. How is the company? What are the reviews of its employees? Is there any review or not? It's a fake company or a real company. It will tell you. You should check for the domain name of sender's email. You know, generic emails like at the rate gmail.com or at the rate yahoo.com etc. should never be trusted. These are free email IDs. Even you can create in within two minutes and you can use it, you can misuse it, whatever you want to do. So you should never trust these kind of email IDs. It should also, it should always be, you know, at the rate of company, company's name, .com or .net or whatever. You should check for the printing and quality of documents. If it's a professional company, you know, they would definitely ensure that they use good quality, good printing. If it's a fraud, you know, they might sometimes, you know, miss that point. So you should definitely check for it. Review the offer letter for grammatical or spelling mistakes. Now the, these offer letter are all legal documents. So you know all the companies generally use advocates and other legal advisors to prepare these documents. So these documents are firstly prepared and then they are thoroughly reviewed. So there are very less chance that it would ever have a grammatical or a spelling mistake. So you should definitely ensure that these offer letter or any other document that you received from them is totally fine. It's free of any grammatical or spelling mistakes. Any mistake should alarm, should ring a bell, you know, on your, on your mind, definitely. Okay, 
you can also check for the office location on Google Earth check for the office address first of all on their offer letter or any other document and then type it in Google Earth nowadays you can you know also see the 3d view of the location so you should you can check it on Google Earth very useful uh, technique lastly you can also call them to inquire it might be you know one guy doing the fraud or even a team of people who are doing the fraud so you should definitely call them you should ask different kind of questions if you feel anything is dicey about them then you should definitely you know inform the police or you know definitely other agencies as well remember anything too good to believe is always dicey if you believe that the offer you have got is like too good and uh, you know it will it will definitely you know change your fortune forever it is a dicey offer it's a fishy offer don't trust it now let me show you a job offer that my friend received a couple of months ago he forwarded it to me and then we did some research to find out that it was a fake job offer okay guys so one of my friend who is also a civil engineer got this email from a company named CDR Construction Canada actually what happened was he approached a guy who was so called HR manager of this company so he actually sent, he sent him out this mail now this mail seems very professional everything is written how it actually should be but there are certainly some flaws he actually asked out uh, for some questionnaires to fill out a questionnaire from him uh, so that he can you know select him on this basis now straight away we can we, I started looking for you know flaws if there were any I found out there are many flaws I'll show it to you one by one now notice this email ID over here hr.cdrconstruction.canada at yandex.com what is this yandex.com you go over to this website it is a free website I mean you can create a free email account over here it's not a professional website like nobody who is a professional HR who will never have uh, you know an official email ID like this so this raises a doubt in our mind now moving forward this is the questionnaire that they have sent out you see there's a logo over here there is this watermark it doesn't look very professional actually now it is fine but this this document doesn't look very professional because this CDR this watermark should be in a light color so that at least the text should be visible this is not very professional but still you know it can happen so forget that now let's notice this address over here this is IL IL is for Illinois this uh, that's a, a state in US but it's written as Canada over here so let's see when I googled it I found out that this is in US and it's nowhere in Canada so of course this is incorrect over here now I didn't call any of these numbers because all these you know all these things were quite evident that this is a fake company next thing cdrconstruction.com cdrconstruction.com when I opened this this is the website I mean this is a website that any guy who is in IT can create in a single day there's nothing in this website which is professional this is a horrible website and no one I would say can have a website like this and I mean this is not a professional website this is not a functional website even that's quite evident so this is also fake about this okay this is a questionnaire that they asked him to fill out asked him every detail you know necessary and then so he actually was not very sure he filled out this uh, this questionnaire and then he and then they reverted back of course because they wanted him uh, to you know pay some money or whatever they wanted from him he, they actually sent out a congratulation uh, letter and uh, offer letter as well so they said they said that uh, they are quite glad to offer him a position in, in his company uh, so I'll show you uh, what is there in the attachment in the offer letter which will even you know confirm our doubt that it's a, it's a, it was a fake company so they say that uh, you have been selected among other 
approved applicants as the new staff appointee of CDR Constructions Company Canada. And uh, please check out the agreement letter. Sign and return it back to us. Okay. Let's check out what's there in the agreement letter. So if you check it out, the same thing. It's not very professional. Forget that for a moment. Let's see this salary. It says salary of uh, 5,470 per month. I hope we can read it out. And uh, it also says that there's a huge reimbursement or, you know, you can say different allowances. If you call, if you, if you actually, you know, calculate all of these, you know, car maintenance and home furnishing, everything. If you calculate all of these, it actually sums up to be around this salary, this monthly salary. So this is too good for an offer to believe. Again, everything is mentioned very clearly in this in this website in this uh, letter over here about the annual leave sick leave you know working hours visa how the visa would be done they say that uh, you shall bear the cost of uh, securing your entry your clearance visa while the company provides the air ticket to you so might be that they would ask that uh, someone would come and collect the visa fee so you know things like that happen so over there after that you know they mentioned very clearly about the maternity and childcare leave termination and notice everything they have mentioned so that you don't feel you know dicey about this all letter and all but of course these all things are evident enough that this company was a fake company now I you know did some more research on it and eventually I found out that there is there are people who have actually posted about this company already so CDI construction fake I just googled it and then this was the um, link that I clicked so if you check out they have mentioned very clearly over here that uh, if it is posted here it's a scam no ifs and no buts this was the same letter which my friend got it says that this letter is in regards to your job application with CDR construction company you have indicated that you're interested to work with us everything is same and they have mentioned and they've confirmed it over here that this is a scam this is a fraud this is not the right company so guys uh, these are the ways through which you can actually check out if it is a right company or you know if everything is right with this thing uh, I, I also checked out the glass door there was no review for it you know no review whatsoever the company doesn't exist in Glassdoor there are very less number of companies which are not there in Glassdoor Glassdoor is a you know big website through which you can check the reviews of the company uh, employees of the company actually post the reviews for the company you know it might be case that you know it's not there in Glassdoor but every other you know thing over here indicates that this was a scam actually my friend didn't get back to them after seeing all of this I warned him that you know this is a scam please don't fall for them so he didn't go there but I think if he would have signed it and reverted back to them then I'm pretty sure they would have asked for some money or some documents so this was a scam and this way guys you can definitely confirm if this is a fake job offer or it's a right job offer so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button if you didn't like it click the dislike button and if you think it will be useful for your friends please share it with them and do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet thanks for watching